Amen. Amen. Somebody help me out. Our Father, Our Father which, art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Be thy, name. Thy, kingdom come. thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Where? On earth. As it is. In heaven. Brothers and sisters, this is beautiful. But it means nothing if somebody don't walk away from this place today knowing that Jesus saves, brothers and sisters. I met Mama Ro and Ro at a Mother's Day event that I was performing at. And from that time, maybe about three or four years ago, we have stayed in contact and we have stayed connected. And every time I spoke to Rochelle, Mama Ro was somewhere in the background. They was in the car coming from the mall, coming from the restaurant, and she would always talk to me and encourage me through the phone. <laughs> and I can picture her smile as she spoke from the background. And so I wanted to say that if she had one wish, it would be for you to know Jesus. Again, all of this means nothing if somebody don't walk away from here knowing Jesus for themselves. I want to read John 6 and 38. And it says, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him that sent me. So Jesus, what is the will of the one who sent you? Let's put Jesus on the witness stand. And he answers and says, this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing, but raise it up again at the last day. Brothers and sisters, when Jesus returns, that day is called the last day. And so this is the resting period right here. And all of our loved ones are going to rest until the last day. It goes on to read at verse 44. It says, no man can come to me except the Father which have sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up again at the last day. Verse 54, whosoever eateth my flesh, which means read his word, whosoever drinketh my blood, which means Read his word. Have eternal life. And I will raise him up again. At the last day. So now is the time to let her rest. She has done her job. She has brought us. To Christ brothers and sisters. Amen. But as I go into my poem. I ask you the question. What are you going to do now? Amen. Somebody say what if. Everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor, close your eyes for one moment and think of this. What if today was your last day? What would you say and who would you call? Would you pull out those cell phones, look at all the contacts inside and call them all, or would there just be a select few? Question is, what would you do? Who would be of importance to you this one day? And who would you want to remain by your side these last few hours that you're alive? And who haven't you spoken to for years? That maybe said something or did something hurtful to you that caused a lot of hurt, pain, and tears. Better yet, who would you forgive these last few hours? Could you survive with all that resentment bottled up inside of you? Maybe your mother abandoned you. Or maybe your father was a deadbeat dad, but for this last day, could you call him up just to say that I love you? And would it matter to you whether or not your boo was faithful or true? And would the little petty things that you were going through in your relationship mean that much to you if today was your last day? And what about the fortune and fame? The bright lights, thousands screaming and chanting your name. The platinum and gold for what does it cost for the man to gain this whole world? And 
lose his soul. What if today was your last day? Would you pray and ask for forgiveness and try to right the wrongs of yesterday? See, the point I'm trying to make is, why wait until you're staring at the casket or the funeral procession? I'm asking all of you all today to count your blessings and clean the slate. Make that phone call today. Say your I love yous and find forgiveness in your heart because tomorrow might just be too late. Besides, how can you pray every day and ask for forgiveness when you can't even forgive your own brother? Your father, your sister, or even your own mother. Family, look, here's the truth. See, forgiveness ain't meant to benefit him, and forgiveness ain't meant to benefit them, but forgiveness is meant to benefit you. I don't think y'all get it. See, either we're going to practice what we preach, or we're going to be hypocrites. Bring me my flowers while I'm alive. Write me my poems. Do your tribute. Sing me my songs while I'm alive. Family, look, prioritize your life. Matter of fact, do this. Today, when you make it home, go home and write yourself down a list. Put it on the refrigerator to remind you of what's important. Everything else, deal with at your own risk. Because every day in life, we get a second chance to do things right. To experience a little peace, joy, and laughter. And if today was truly the last day of your life, then most of the things that you're complaining about right now really wouldn't even matter. Everyone, and I mean everyone, with the listening ear of my voice, do me a favor, close your eyes for one moment and think of this. What if today was your last day? That's that peace. Thank you.